Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel So today we are going to crochet this very cute uh, pencil case or cosmetic bag or makeup bag So uh, hope you have your materials ready They were listed at the beginning of the video Okay so I hope you can see them. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And also, let me think what you uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the sides, and we're going to make two circles, and we're going to start with the magic ring, and then we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll do single crochet one two three four five and six okay i'll pull the yarn to close the gap and then i'll place my marker over here Okay, so now in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets. So I'm going to go into the next stitch and increase. And increase the next stitch. And you're going to increase all the remaining stitches. Okay, so now in the third row, we're going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase. And then we'll repeat that single crochet and increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fourth round we're going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase and repeat single crochet one single crochet two and increase and repeat that all the way round okay so now in the fifth row we are going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then increase repeat single crochet one two Three and increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the sixth row we're going to do four single crochets then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 36 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and increase five 
repeat so for single crochets and increase and repeat that all the way round okay so now in the seventh row which is the last row of the side we are going to do five single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 42 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and increase and repeat so five single crochets and increase And repeat that all the way round okay so after we are done I'm just going to remove my marker and then I'll slip stitch in the next stitch and I'll cut off the yarn like that okay so now we'll start making the body Okay, so for the body we are going to start by making a chain 31 so we'll do chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and continue until you have a chain 31 okay so after we are done with the chain 31 we're going to start with the uh, first row and we're going to start in the second chain from the hook so you're going to skip this and start here and we'll do single crochets all the way to the end so we'll have a total of 30 single crochets so starting here I'll do my single crochet and then in the next chain single crochet single crochet Okay, so I'll continue doing single crochet in every chain. And continue all the way to the end. Okay, so when we get to the end, we're going to do a chain one and turn. So now in the second row, we're going to continue to do single crochet in every stitch all the way to the end. So we'll do single crochet, single crochet, and continue doing single crochet in every stitch. So continue until you get here at the end. Okay, so when you get again to the end, you're going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so we're going to continue doing the same thing until you have 44 rows. Okay, so for the next, uh, from the next row, which is row three until row 44, you're going to continue to do single crochet all the way in each stitch all the way to the end and always remember to do a chain one when you're done and turn okay so i'll see you when you, uh, you're done with row 44 so that we finish up together Okay, so guys, after row 44, this is how my work looks like, as you can see. Okay, so.
so now i'm just to finish up i'm just going to do a chain one and cut off the yarn okay so that's how it looks like okay so now let's attach the zipper and all the other parts together okay so now to attach the zipper i'm going to choose the side that's going to face on the outside and the one that's going to be the inside okay so this side because it has a knot i'm going to make it the inside part and this one is going to be the outside okay so i'm just going to make sure the inside part is facing up and then i'll fold my work into two like this okay and then i'll take my zipper facing the outside part all uh facing the right side in like that okay so i'll just place it over here and here i'll just take my pin and hold it here okay and on the other side too this other side I'm just going to fold it like that and like that and just to make sure they are just sent to each other like that okay so I'll just take the other pin and place it over here okay so what we are going to do is I'm going to sew my zip like that here and here. Okay, so let's sew them over here and here and then I'll show you how to attach the sides. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I'm done sewing the zipper as you can see. So I used a red yarn, a red thread, sorry, this one that's the one that i used to attach the zip over here so let's turn over to the other side the right side so that we see how it turned out okay so this is how it turned out as you can see it turned out really well i like it okay so you can just open like that and close Okay, so now let's attach the sides and the sides are quite easy. So what you're going to do is you see if it fits perfectly. So when you attach it like that, okay, you're just going to take a needle and a thread and sew it like this. So make sure these two sides are like that. So you sew over here, okay. So that we have uh, the inside uh, the inside the pattern going on the inside a little bit okay so don't sew it on the outside but sew it on the inside like this all the way round okay and the same case with this other side okay so let's do that okay so guys as you can see I finished uh, sewing this part the side parts together and also as you can notice i added a little bit of flowers so i added three on this side and three on this other side which are optional you can do it or just leave it leave your purse uh, plain like that so for those who want to add the flowers i'm just going to demonstrate how i did the flowers first so i used a crochet hook that's 3.5 millimeters smaller than the one we used uh, to make the pencil case so I'm just going to do a magic ring and I have to make sure I pull a yarn long enough to accommodate all the petals so I'm just going to do a magic ring and then after I do a magic ring I'm going to do chain three so chain one two and three and then after I do a chain three, I'm going to yarn over seven times. So I'm going to yarn over, pull through one time, yarn over, 
pull through two times three four five six and seven and then we are going to pull all the loops together now so just pull like that so that's one puffy uh puffy petal and then i'm going to do a chain one two uh hold all the petals together and then i'm going to do a chain three so one two three and then when I ca I'll come to the magic ring and slip stitch. Okay, and then I'll start again to make the second petal. I'm going to do a chain three. So one, two, three, and then yarn over seven times. One, two, three, and make sure all your loops are loose. Four, five, six, seven, and then pull all the loops together. Do a chain one, and then do a chain three. One, two, three, then slip stitch here at the magic ring. And then you start again, do a chain three, one, two, three, yarn over seven times. And you continue repeating like that until you have five petals. The reason we made this one long is because you can pull it like that, as you can see. And then when we are done, you just pull it, all the petals together to close the gap here in the middle. Okay, so after you're done, you just cut off the yarn and you'll be done. So I made a total of six flowers and attached three on each side. Okay, so guys, that's it for today. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. And also let me think what you, uh, let me know what you think about this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Until next time, bye.